That's what I want to freaking see. I want to see some weird artsy stuff. When you listen really carefully, loops go wheeling. Dude. Cozy and stuck. Dang, bro. This is so epic. This is not like any of the normal K-pop music videos that I usually react to. And that's why I'm so excited to get into this. It's such an artsy vibe. It's different and I love it. So let's break it down. Right off the bat, we have an Academy leader. The beginning of a film reel usually has all of these scribbles and it's black and it essentially looks like this. So it's already looking vintage, looking artsy. And we have lots of film grain. Lots of imperfections. Look at this. Just using editing to create a piece of art is so fun. It looks like the same shot on top of each other, but you zoom out so you get a frame within the frame effect and then the background is just punched in. Immediate art. I love it. And then all of these frames. And I love that they're using iPhone sound effects as motivation to animate them in and out. The amount of work that it takes to make a grid like this in editing, let's just say it's not easy. <laughs> so shout out to the editor for going in, making this beautiful art piece for us to enjoy. <sighs> and just the simple like, bum, ba -da -dum -dum -dum. the frames mimic that and fall in really quickly. And then having the little tapping sound, but every single picture is just like a few frames off, so it looks like a wave effect. I'm just picturing like a baseball game. I'm screaming in my edit bait. I promise I'm fine. But this is just such a visually interesting way to portray the ticking. So good. And this, honestly, super easy to do. It's just an easy using the crop effect. And you can actually keyframe crops, which I never think to do. But that was so cool, just as a way to visualize in an artistic way what sending a text might look like. Whoop! You're sending it out, and the frame expands. Ooh! It's just, it's so simple, but it's just stuff that I haven't really seen. This cinematography is gorgeous. <sighs> v, it's okay, brother. He was just smelling the clothes. Oh, this is so emo. Next, we just want to do this with my hair. Now we're ready. This is just so simple, it just feels right. Have you ever wanted to go to film school but not been able to? The reality is that not everybody has $100,000 to go to film school or four years to go through the program. And because I was privileged enough to be able to do it, I went through it so you don't have to. And so now I've created a course to teach you everything I learned in film school and all of my years of industry experience for 0.2% of the price in 3% of the time. There were... It's a lot cheaper and quicker, <laughs> essentially. You do not need a degree to break into the film industry. All you need is the skills, and I can teach you that. So if you're trying to be an editor, break into the industry, and you've been saving up, now is the time. If you wanna learn more, go ahead and hit the link in the description. All right, thanks for letting me sponsor my own episode. <laughs> right when the singing starts happening, we enter into a steady cam vibe. The camera's always moving, pushing in, moving. It's just kind of floating around, observing this guy. Clearly going through it with his relationship. And there's some things that are just jarring. There's jump cuts. It feels like we're on a similar lens the entire time. And generally that's a big no-no. You wanna switch your focal length up. You wanna switch your framing up. Otherwise it's gonna feel jump cutty. It's gonna feel disconnected. It's gonna feel kind of icky. And that's how this feels. And I feel like, I just said feel so many times. 
But I do, I feel bro. The way that this has been filmed and edited makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. You feel this discomfort that our character is going through as he is just laying on his bed, clearly feeling angsty because of his relationship. Like that jump cut specifically made me feel that. Look at this architecture. And I feel like these birds are way too perfect. It's a V, they have to be V FX. This is probably my favorite shot of the whole film. And you notice it's not at the beginning. You would expect this shot to be at the beginning as just an establishing shot, but it's kind of put in the middle because right when we get into verse one, we want something fresh. And so the music video editor decided to put this in to give us a new perspective on what's actually going on. <laughs> the dog. No! Not the two plates, bro! Uh, okay. Bro, come here. Come on, bring it in, man. It's gonna be okay. This might have been a flashback. I'm not quite sure. It looks like he's getting ready to cook a meal. Maybe have somebody else over, hence the two plates. I really love this mixed media. We're getting some black and white VHS just sprinkled in with the beautiful cinematography. Kind of makes you feel like somebody else is there. He's talking to him. But he's actually alone. And maybe the person's a no-show and he decides to make himself a great meal of flour, maybe sugar. It looks exactly like the food pyramid meals. It's like super balanced. It's great, it's great. <laughs> But yeah, he's checking his phone. Maybe the person isn't showing up. It's not looking good. The vintage Apple Mouse. Again, we have this same style. Just jump cuts and uncomfortable uncomfortability. <laughs> What is on these papers, bro? These papers are like old computer scanning papers. I clearly don't know. I'm a 90s kid. He's trying to work out his relationship with computer papers. This is so freaking artsy. I love it. That's what I'm freaking talking about. That's what I wanna freaking see. I wanna see some weird artsy stuff. So we keep showing this TV. It has like old fashioned cartoons on it. It's artsy, it's beautiful. I'm still in emo Jordan mode. I gotta, okay, we're bringing the hair back. We quickly see a rose here right before we cut to this. What the frick is this? It kind of looks like they ran a stock footage rose that looks like this through maybe an AI image generator like Runway. You can actually take existing video and stylize them in some way. And so it looks like they did that and then faded it off. So it goes from AI to real. And then they just repeat the shot because you hear a chord. It's jazzy, it's beautiful. You hear the exact same chord again. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna mirror that and show visually the exact same artsy image we saw before. And then we have a different chord, which honestly kind of sounds like the reverse of the chord we just heard. So we hear one, one, negative one. And during the negative one chord, we actually just stay on the stock footage image and just play it in reverse. It's beautiful. One, one, negative one. Ooh! And then we get another repeat shot just going off the same motif that we already established. We established a visual language and then continue the visual language as we hear the same chords. Here's the thing with music videos, you can do whatever you want. There are literally no rules. And so I wanna see some rules be broken just like this. It's so fun to watch. Dude, just repeat the same shot. It gives you a feeling. Oh, he's crying. What? 
drops of the Let me make a for all the time and lost We can start again, open all the doors Don't The vibe has completely changed in the song and as well as in the music video This reminds me of the whole concept of one of my favorite music videos last year Cash in, cash out Which takes the idea of a zoetrope animation Which essentially is a wheel of an image or a sculpture And every single sculpture is the exact same thing but a frame different This is exactly how motion picture film was invented Which is the original zoetrope is an animation of the horse running But really it's just a bunch of different pictures of a horse in different positions But when it's spinning, it looks like it's running and so right in verse two, or maybe even this is the bridge, we get a Zoe trope starting. And we get a completely different lens. We have these soft edges trying to make it look a little bit like film, but I think this is digital. Instead of going on these long, really wide cinematic lenses, we are now on a wide angle lens. Everything in the entire music video is now feeling so different. Where we feel close to the subject. Bro, and there it is. That's the Zoe trope in action. That is so cool. I think this is animation. Essentially, a picture is taken every single time a head comes in front of the camera. It's the exact same position every single time. So once it gets synced up, it looks like the only thing that is moving are the little differences in the head animation or the mouth position. And you can see that every single frame, the bottom of the wheel has different scratch marks on it because it's actually spinning. And that's the crazy optical illusion that it creates. Woo. That looks like another little AI animation. Inverted, maybe. <laughs> He's painting with a baguette. What the frick is this thing in the corner? He's got like one of those barbershop wheel things that are usually filled with a little bit of like a candy cane or a spiral type deal. Except it's filled with like press images of himself. I remember your kiss, come out Pain with a baguette, V. Let's go, brother. Dude, this is so sick. All right, so getting right back into that chorus. Show a new image. And then we do a still black and white with a little circle animation. They put these diagrams and animations on logos a lot to show the aesthetic pleasingness of the logo and how it actually works geometrically. And so they're pretty much saying like V has a very beautiful and proportional face. <laughs> but the way that they like inverted the background and then inverted the foreground and then just jump cut back to the same thing, that's crazy. They're breaking so many rules. And then they do a threshold image, which is essentially you put the contrast all the way up so all you're seeing is only black or white. And then they take his painting, a digital version of it, and animate it into the corner. And it looks like he's kind of like an alien. Does V see himself as an alien? Is he feeling bad because his relationship is not working out so he feels like absolutely rejected? Shoot, this is deep, bro. Oh, they put the beginning of the music video in the TV. This is what I think. He was glued to his phone for most of the music video being like, oh, when she's gonna text me back, bro, hit me up, please. I miss you, I want you. And at the end of the music video, he just gives up. Maybe it's because of his confidence, which it should be. You don't need a man or a woman, just be you. Jesus is literally all you need. Hit the link here to take some editing formula lessons for free. Jesus loves you so much, and I love you guys too. Have a blessed day. Peace.